It was two and a half years ago that a driver hit and killed Ellen Bengston while she rode her bike near Charles City. The driver was never convicted and the victim's parents hope to change state laws to better protect cyclists in the future. Political director Dave Price joins us with this story. Very sad, Dave. Indeed, Ellen Bengston's family said their daughter was 28. She had been working at a job that she loved as a chemical engineer in Charles City. She loved to relax and get out and exercise on her bike. Her parents say that Ellen was riding on her bike August the 2nd, 2020, when a driver hit and killed her. They say he later admitted to police that he had looked down at his phone and did not see Ellen in time. A judge later dismissed the charges against the driver, saying the evidence was ins insufficient for a conviction. We can't do anything. Right. Right, so Correct. he was tried once, um, and because the case was dismissed. He, he can't be tried again. Um, but bottom line is there still remains a safety issue in our community and our roads. Ellen's parents returned to Iowa this week from their home state of Washington. It is tough to come back to this state, they told me, but they want Iowa lawmakers to better protect cyclists on the road. They believe that it can help continue Ellen's purpose. I think for us, um, every life is valuable, and Ellen um, would want um, to be heard. She wanted her life to, to make a difference, and God forbid it had to be this way, but for us to carry the message forward and allow her to have some sort of impact was important for me. They carry that binder with them. They say they support the Iowa Bicycle Coalition's push to change some laws. For example, they want Iowa to require hands-free use of cell phones while driving like many other states have. They want you to have to move over a lane if you're passing a cyclist. And they want to increase penalties so that drivers would face the same punishment for injuring or killing a cyclist as if they hit another motorist or pedestrian. Those are different right now. They had originally planned to come to Iowa to retire and live near Ellen. Instead, they say they have come here hoping to protect someone else's mm. daughter or son. All right, we hope they manage to do that. Thanks, Dave. We'll be sure to follow up on their efforts.